when your world falls apart. When you feel like you, yourself, are crumbling to pieces. How do you put it all back together? How do you fit all the puzzle pieces of yourself back into place? It's been a rough season. And I've been in a bad rut mentally. Like, normally, I live and breathe to make these videos on my channel. Working on stuff for this YouTube channel is typically what I get excited about more than anything else. But as luck would have it, and as it happens to essentially all creative people, I got hit by the most crushing writer's artist block of my life. Like, I've never experienced a more paralyzing creative block. To the point where these past months, I would dread drawing. I would dread writing my script. I dreaded any form of working on my videos. And it's so odd when you just can't get yourself to want or enjoy something that you know you love. You can't get yourself to do it even though you want to want it so bad. Overall, I just didn't feel like myself. It was like I lost myself was stuck in this bad dream on repeat, going through the motions and nothing more. And after days and weeks of digging into myself, asking what the heck was going on with me, I eventually came to this epiphany moment. I realized something. This whole last half of this year, I had stopped doing a lot of things that I would do things for the sheer sake of my learning and personal development of myself. I stopped meditating. I stopped practicing habits that I know make a difference in my life, like creative visualization, time spent specifically to sit down imagining the outcomes I want to create in my reality. I stopped the positive affirmation, self-talk. I stopped reading self-help books and listening to audio, podcasts, videos on self-development, success psychology, high performance. This stuff that normally just puts me on fire and excites me like nothing else. The kind of stuff that got me to start this YouTube channel in the first place. This year my life has been so full of wild transitions from the birth of my son to leaving a job that I really, really loved to have some more stability for my family at a mundane retail job as well as coming home each night to a pile of homework because I'm in school. And more and more often, I would permissively let myself be sad. And while it's okay to feel your emotions once in a while, it's a totally different thing to let your emotions rule your life and control you, drown you, and slowly, gradually, but surely, that is what was happening to me. I lost myself. And I was falling to pieces. So how do you fit all the puzzle pieces of yourself back into place? Well, to be honest, I don't know. I'm still figuring this out. Making this realization and having this clarity has motivated me enough to pick myself up to where I am now. So I'm just taking it one step at a time, putting myself back together, one puzzle piece 
at a time and adding the next puzzle piece and the next 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 piece.